I have with me Niru Khosla and Murugan Pal of CK12. Niru, we just saw a very short intro to uh, how a book on physics can be published. It barely took two minutes to do that. Well, that presumes that you know what's in the, what's in the book. Hmm. So if you know what's in the content, it takes, I mean, the tool itself takes no time. The, the, the time you'll have to spend is to kind of decide if that's the content you want. Have you tried uh, publishing one of these books for your kids? No, not yet, but Mur Murgan did. Murgan? So I actually published a book on penguins okay. by collecting various penguin articles from Wikipedia for my six-year-old daughter. Okay. And I also created a book on human biology for my son by collecting some articles as well as some of our internal contents. Hmm. So I think, you know, you asked a good question we, we put together a book in two minutes. Actually, we, are, we will be offering both the options to the users who would be coming to our system. The people who do not have time, where some other specialist might have gone and then packaged a book, as well as someone who wants to spend enough time to create their own custom book right from scratch. Our tool can adapt to both. Okay. And uh, have you tried printing anything at all, Niru? Uh, in term, yeah, we've tried printing these things, you know, these uh, content we have on, online. Um, I think we get pretty good looking books. You do? <laughs> well, we, we actually also send these out when we do our uh, review process. We send them printed books to the reviewers. So we're already doing those. We get them bound, we get them printed system. How are you two sharing your um, work uh, uh, here? Because you are heading the nonprofit, and Morgan, you are the techie? Yes. Yeah. I'm part of the organization. I'm responsible for the development, the conceptual design and architecture. Okay. And uh, so you turn to him for all the technical stuff? Yeah, I don't pretend to know any of <laughs> So you just go and tell him People that... People see through that so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it like working with Neeru Murugan? Actually, it's very exciting. I mean, I've never met with Neeru before. I've uh -huh. worked with Vinod. Uh -huh. So this is the very first time. We have lots of freedom here to innovate. And as long as the business goals are aligned, we have complete freedom to work with. We really enjoy working here. Who should I ask about the business goals? We, you can, if she starts the sentence, I can complete the sentence. Okay, then you start and let Niru complete. <laughs> so, our goals are to supposed to give, you know, books that are aligned for California as a pilot. Mm -hmm. And we are focusing on STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, mm -hmm. from 6th grade to 12th grade. That's our initial first phase business goals. Okay. And, and we actually will partner with lots of, uh, we're hoping to partner with uh, lots of universities to kind of, a lot of people have expressed interest in getting our tools so they can use them to modulize uh, the content that they have. So we'd love to, Stanford wants to stand, you know, partner with us, as does uh, Arizona State. So there are lots of uh, people who have come forward to that. Um, we are struggling with the sustainability. We're figuring out how to do the sustainability, I should say. So there will be a business model uh, modeled around that. Uh, it's coming. How are you helping the sustainability issue from a technical angle? So it is important we build a very good um, software assets, which is respectable and usable by any other potential partner. Because if you actually develop a very good usable tool, even proprietary and commercial publishers can use the same system and pay a very small royalty or a license fee, which can feed into the uh, organization's operational expense structures for future. So that's what you're doing. And uh, Niru, what is it that will make you happy? You're releasing this in August? Yes. Uh, what will make me happy is pe if people who are using it, you know, tell us, send us emails back or some messages back telling us, 
hey, we're using it, and this is what we find exciting or usable, and this is what we find uh, having trouble with. So some kind of interaction between us. I don't want there to be just plain silence from you know the other side. So it would be exciting for me to get emails back from people who used it. Give feedback. We are looking for constructive feedback, and people who are passionate about building a community around this and leverage this uh, platform for their own, uh, you know, a, a, their own passion to a, a practice and put together this particular set of contents for their own domain usage. My last question is, have your kids tried uh, looking at CK12 and the content that you offer? Um, no, but they will be working this summer. Uh, two of my kids will be working to kind of help us uh, see how usable the content is. Okay. And I know that you got the two books uh, printed for your kids, one on penguins, like you mentioned, and the other one, human biology. Mm -hmm. What did they think of the content? Actually, my daughter enjoyed the book on content and the penguins. Hmm. She really enjoyed it. Um, you know, for my son, actually, this is part of our roadmap. We, uh, he wanted to see animated, you know, uh, flash videos as part of, you know, because how does the heartbeat work, how does the, you know, the, um, the valves work in. So there are lots of flash animation you could see. So that's part of our roadmap that we want to actually embed those contents, the animated contents as part of the text material. So in a printed medium, you can read it. In an online medium, you can view it. Both are co coexistingly possible. So what, you're, what you are telling me is that this is going to become a multimedia. Well, it has to have uh, alternative media, too, without that. You can't just have text learning. Mm. We found that text learning doesn't always work. You have to have some, something for visual learners, something for you know, uh, auditory. So you have to have. Uh, other multimedia present, not just textbooks. Thank you so much for your time. Sure. Thank you.